वेलकम बैक टू दिस लेक्चर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन फ्रॉम ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड इट इज कॉल्ड एज कुमाडा कपलिंग और कुमाडा क्रॉस कपलिंग इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज खरास्ट क्रॉस कपलिंग इट इज सिमिलर रिएक्शन लाइक we have discussed before suzuki coupling negishi coupling buchwald coupling and many more like other coupling reactions this also involved the formation of carbon carbon bond and this reaction is also catalyzed by palladium or nickel based catalyst it is very important point to be remembered and this is the coupling reaction or this is a cross coupling reaction which is taking place between the grignard reagent this is called as grignard reagent and and the aryl halide this is very common reactants in many of the cross coupling reaction like suzuki negishi in many and this is a very particular reactant we are using for kumada cross coupling reaction let us go for the example reaction general reaction this is a what is this this is the aryl halide this is a aryl halide we are using aryl halide and this we are coupling this we are reacting this aryl halide with this grignard reagent this r should be either aryl group or this mgx should be connected to the sp2 carbon there is a double bond dead carbon fine and see this is palladium what is the meaning of this zero means it is a palladium pure metal having the zero oxidation state we can use here nickel also we can use here nickel catalyst also so there is a coupling between this this r and this r will couple and they will form this rr carbon carbon bond formation means aryl group or aryl group or this can be uh, aryl or this can be alkyl group and vice versa and this is the side product mgx2 let us take a specific example i have taken bromobenzene here and phenyl magnesium bromide This is a Grignard reagent. How we will call this phenyl magnesium bromide? We can take other examples here by having various groups on this ring. We can use different types of Grignard reagent. And similar here also, if I am attaching a methyl, it becomes toluyl bromide. And if you see this bromobenzene with phenyl magnesium bromide in the presence of nickel-based catalyst or palladium catalyst. there is a formation of biphenyl it is a biphenyl by coupling between these two reactants and this is a mgbr2 is the side product if if we are having this example nitro on this ring and halogen at this carbon so this bond undergo breakage and it react with this this particular grignard reagent and this carbon this carbon bond formation takes place and if you see we can write like this product so it is a very simple reaction to understand is a methyl here and here we can write like this and this nitro is para to this so we can write para nitro group here fine okay so there are many examples we can discuss here let us go for the mechanism the mechanism of this kumada cross coupling involves three important steps there are three important steps what are these steps the first one is oxidative addition or another step would be transmetallation and third step would be reductive elimination let us go for this mechanism of this uh, kumada coupling reaction see here <coughs> nickel which is present in zero oxidation state 
no doubt this nickel would be in association with the ligand neutral ligand we so we can represent the small n sorry capital n see when nickel which is in association or attached to this ligand when react with this aryl halide insertion takes place this nickel insert across this bond and if you see there is insertion and you see this aryl and halogen insertion takes place of nickel across this so the oxidation state of nickel becomes 0 to plus 2 so there are two things taking place here one is oxidation of nickel and addition of nickel taking place across the double bond therefore this step is called as oxidative addition this step is called and it's very important step this is called as oxidative addition step oxidative addition okay fine yes after once it is formed this this reactant sorry this reagent is interacted with the Grignard reagent we are already added or we are adding after, after uh, uh, once the reaction is going through when you add this Grignard to this one there is a exchange this magnesium is a metal here this is the metal here this magnesium will exchange this R group with this nickel and nickel will exchange this X with magnesium so magnesium will take this X and it will form MgX2 here as a side group and this step which involves the exchange of groups between the metals called transmetallation this is a second very important step is called as transmetallation okay see transmetallation after this transmetallation this will form having the nickel in plus 2 oxidation state now nickel will comes out by combining this this group with this group there is a carbon carbon bond formation taking place here and result product and nickel becomes nickel 2 plus become nickel 0 and nickel is coming out this that is an elimination of nickel taking place from this reactant from this intermediate and its OS is changing 2 to 0 called as reduction so it is called as reductive elimination this is called as reductive elimination step fine reductive elimination step okay okay now this is what the total overall mechanism of the kumada kumada cross coupling reaction let us go for uh, the two three examples see let us see i have taken here bromo two bromofuron i am coupling with this uh, thiophene two magnesium bromide and I am using here palladium catalyst. There is a coupling between this thiophene and the pheno, uh, furon, and side product would be MgBr2. Let us go for one more example. Let us take this one. This is what 2 bromopyridine coupling with this Grignard, particular Grignard, and Kumada coupling. What is the product? So we can write product here like this this will be the product so draw the indole, indole here methyl group is there this 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 uh, pridine will attach at this carbon this carbon and that's all so this is what about the overall idea about kumada cross coupling it is also called as cross cross coupling it involves the three steps in mechanism oxidative addition, transmetallation, reductive elimination. It involves use of nickel or we are, can also use uh, palladium based catalyst. So this is what about the Kumada cross coupling reaction.